In this video, I'll continue the discussion on parallel transformers. So, so I'll show what happens when you parallel, for instance, uh, delta y and yy transformers, where you have a phase shift between the two. So, so you don't want to parallel delta y and yy due to the phase shift, and I'll show what I mean by that. So, for instance, let's assume we have two transformers. One is connected as delta y1. That means the high side is delta, low side is y, and the high side is leading the low side by 30 degrees. And we have y, y0. That means the high side is grounded y, the low side is grounded y, but there is no phase shift between the two, so it's zero. <clears throat> so, So if I draw the vector groups, so transformer one, so it's a delta. So I'm gonna call, so H1, H2, Bushing, H3. That's the phase voltage. Then I will draw the low side as a Y. So X1, X2, X3, and we'll call that the neutral for instance. We're assuming positive sequence rotation, which is counterclockwise. So this transformer here is dy1 because clearly you see that the high voltage leads the low voltage by 30 degrees so delta side leads the y side by 30 degrees now i'm gonna draw the yy0 so i'm gonna draw the high side windings here so i'm gonna call that h1 prime just to signify separate transformer h2 prime h h3 prime neutral is there since there is no phase shift basically these guys will be parallel in parallel so x1 prime x2 prime and x3 prime so this is the second transformer so it's the high side is y the low side is y and there's there there is no phase shift so now So if you draw the kind of the phasers, so I'm going to start. So the phasers, so I'm going to start with the high voltage for this transformer here. So H1, H2, H3. So you can see the high voltage leads the low voltage by 30 degrees. So I'm going to use a separate color just so it's easy to see. So X1, X2 would be here. Basically, this angle here is 30 degrees. X3. and this is 30 degrees so the high side the h bushing uh, h leads lead the x leads by 30 degrees counterclockwise so let's do the same thing for the yy transformer so i'm gonna draw the 
high side. So H1 prime, H2 prime, H3 prime. Then, since there is no phase shift, you know, basically x1 would be in parallel. So x1 prime here, x2 prime, x3 prime. And we can use arrows if you want to make it clear. It's just that in parallel because there is no phase shift. So for clarity, I'm just using the arrows. So the phase shift is zero. Now I'm going to use a separate color. So now let's take this delta y one phasers and the yy zero phasers and overlap them. So put the h1 lead on top of h1 prime lead and so on and so forth. What we will notice, you know, or what we can see from here, if we overlap them, we will see that x1, so h1, h1 and h1 prime will be the same or they will be in parallel. So the difference is really just the x1 and x1 prime. So if you just look here, x1 prime will be kind of vertical, but x1 would be lagging by 30 degrees. So that's 30 degrees. In other words, the phase, the phase shift between the secondaries of the two transformers is 30 degrees. Now, let's just assume the voltage is one per unit. So to find that, that uh, difference, what we have to do is so if I take x1 prime, so x1 prime, let's assume it's at one per unit with an angle of zero degrees as the reference. So x2, sorry, x1, <coughs> the leads, I'm talking about the phasers basically. So x1 would be at one per unit, but it's gonna be lagging by 30 degrees. So now if I take one, with an angle of zero minus one with an angle of negative 30 degrees and so it's kind of take subtraction so what i get is 0 0.517 with an angle of 75 degrees per unit or 51.7 percent with an angle of 75 degrees. So as you can see, the secondaries are not, you know, so they, there is a voltage difference between the secondaries. And this will, you know, because of, so there is a voltage and phase angle difference, basically, as you can see from here. So because they are not zero. So what's gonna happen is, this will cause circulating current. So if we take an example to transform it, so one is a 22 MVA, impedance Z1 is 7.91%. Basically they have the same MVA, same impedance, the percent circulating current, and I'm using the approximation method from the previous videos, so the voltage difference is 51.7%. So that's what I'm doing there. Then just plug in the numbers, impedance and uh, MVA ratio. So I get the circulating current will be 326.8%. That will definitely cause overheating you. That's a lot. 
So that's why you 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 know you don't want to parallel a delta y with a y y because of the phase shift. You know it will cause a huge circulating current. So in the next video, I'll show what happens if you parallel delta, delta, and y, y, where there is no phase shift between the secondaries. So hopefully you find this uh, video useful. Thank you and have a great day.